Hey everyone, this is Stephen Strawn at the Cast Iron Cookware channel, where you can find information to help you better collect, restore, and use cast iron cookware. Today we are at Water Valley Flea Market in Coleman, Alabama, and I'm telling you what, these are some huge buildings. There's probably over 30,000 square feet of stuff. So we're going to check this place out. We're really excited, and we're going to be doing that coming right up. this is just one building so it's twice as big as this when you uh, add it all up and there's a little bit of everything there's quite a few booths in here right off the bat here's a little piece of cast iron this is a, a Wagner Ware $49 so junior corn stick pan Nice little piece right there. It looks like it's in really good shape. Got just a little bit of a rust spot on it right there, but that will go right away with the SOS pad. <clears throat> Here's something from my generation. You know, if you spin it, say if you want to dial number seven, you got to go all the way around. If you ever get in a hurry and your finger slips off, you got to start all over again. Actually, this one's pretty easy. The ones that we had when I was a kid, you would have a ring around your finger after you got the dial a number because it was so hard to dial. Here's a nice old Victorian sofa. Said the discounted price. You know, these are really more comfortable than you'd ever dream. You look at them, you say, man, those are got to be hard sitting on, but this is nice and comfy. Here we go. Here's a little piece here. This is a, this is a number five SK. This is an unmarked lodge. Made in USA. It's a little newer, three notch. Twenty dollars. Looks like it could just be uh, went over with the SOS pad and put a layer on it, and it'd be good to go. Talking about cast iron collectibles, even though these are not cast iron, these right here are salt and pepper shakers. Some of them are, some are not. They're glass, but. These are just cool. These kind of things, if you're into cast iron, this is the kind of things that you like having around. Nice little stoves. And right here we got their little, and this is a salt and pepper. It's not cast iron, but it's cool as it can be. We got some uh, bookends, different stoves. Someone was really into collecting this. Cool stuff all together. Here we're talking. We have some pieces here. This is a little well pump right here. $125. Man, that is nice. I like that. And here we go, we got some cast iron business going on. I'm kind of afraid to pull this one out. <laughs> okay. This looks like a Birmingham stove and range piece. I don't know if it even matches. Uh, Fifty nine ninety five. Says large iron, large iron pot and lid. So it looks like a Century Series lid, but it's not. It's kind of a, about to do some looking into that. Try to figure that one out. A little bit of a 
casting flaw there, but I don't really know if that goes together, but it's nice. $59.95. It's worth that, just not knowing. Here we got us a Red Mountain number three Birmingham Stove and Range. $12.95. The small ears. Sometimes you find the larger ears on these. But here we go, Red Mountain. There's another little skillet tucked in here. This in here, made in China. You'll see Asian pieces occasionally. And you can use them, they're just not collectible. That's eight bucks. I'm gonna say this one right here is a lodge. Well, it says lodge on it. Let me see. $15, five stick lodge. It's not bad, if you're into lodge, if you collect lodge, that'd be a good little collector piece. Here's an aluminum piece. I don't know who the maker is. This says Jura Company. One thing when you're looking at cast iron and other things, you know, put things back where it goes. People really appreciate it. I've seen people just lay stuff everywhere. Here we have a, a corn stick pan and $24.95. I'm pretty sure this is a lodge unmarked piece. It just looks like it needs to be cleaned up good with SOS pad and baked one time in the oven and it'll be good to go. Here's a nice little griddle. They're wanting $25 for it. You got one side that's flat and of course you have your little grease catch so you can uh, cook bacon or hamburgers or whatever you want to on one side and if you want the nice grill marks you have the grill on the other side. 25 bucks, it's not bad. Here we go, we got a big skillet. I like big skillets. <laughs> I'm telling you what, this one right here is a Birmingham Stove and Range Red Mountain Series. Just made right here in Alabama, in Birmingham. It's got a little bit of pitting on it. But for number 10, $39.95, the surface looks pretty good. Number 10, Red Mountain Birmingham Stove and Range. I've got two of them where I would be taking them home with me. We got a little bit of cast iron right here and we got a little bit of a fan in the background so I hope that you can hear this okay. And right here I can just tell you just by looking at this one, this is a Birmingham Stove and Range Century Series number five. It says made in USA. That kind of tells you the date. Number five. It's got the descriptive size markings. This is a nice little Century Series Birmingham Stove and Range. $29.95. It's in really good shape. Here's another Birmingham Stove and Range. BSR Century Series. Pretty much the exact same piece as I just had. Now this one here, if you can kind of tell, you can see the swirls where they milled it. This is a milled piece, made in USA, century number five, $29.95. That's a good little piece right there. A little rough on the outside, they didn't mill the outside, the castings, uh, the uh, automatic distance machines that they had, they didn't worry about the outside so much at this area, but the inside they milled it and it looks really nice. I'll see these quite a bit. These are Martha Stewart every day. See the three little mixing bowls. They're kind of new. They're not really that collectible, but they're pretty good users. $12. Here's one. This is an old gate mark piece. $39. It just says old, old iron skillet. Cleaned and seasoned. $39. It's got a raised number seven, which is, which is very cool. I love raised letters. I like these small little pour spouts. They kind of let you know something about the age as well. <clears throat> the big telltale is this gate mark. Whenever they poured these old pieces, they poured them through the mold on the bottom. Then they had to clean it up from the bottom. Of course, the newer pieces, the gate marks on the edge and they just grind them off. 
but uh, thirty-nine dollars for this old gate mark number seven, and it is pretty smooth, and it looks like it's going to sit flat. If you're a gate mark collector, that's a nice little piece to have right there. We got some old kettles here. Let me pull out my 55-year-old helpers. $24.95. Wow. Okay, I see the reason why it's so cheap. <laughs> it's got a hole in it. <laughs> you know, I've been called a crackpot before. $24.95. It's still pretty. Nice display piece. $45 even. And this one doesn't look like it's got a crack in it. So number eight. We got some heavy rust on the inside, but that's pretty. I can hear the rust kind of sliding around on the inside there. Here's another kettle, $45. be honest with you, my knowledge of kettles are way down, but I've seen these over here and I just wanted to show them. And that one right there, I said it was $45. It's a, it's a cast iron pot, $32.95. Now these are the ones that you don't want to put in your E-tank or your lie tank because the likelihood of there being lead melted in these are really high. Uh, this one here has got a hole drilled in the bottom of it, so evidently somebody has tested it for lead and found it positive. That's a good thing to remember. If you're a collector and you have a piece that tests for lead, go ahead and drill a hole in it. That way nobody will ever use it. Keep it safe. Now this is interesting right here. If I can get it turned just right, Sometimes these are offset on the bottom. They'll be wider on one side than they are the other. That way when you set it down inside the stove eye, if you need more room on the stove, you can spin it and it'll kind of move it off center a little bit. But this one is not like that, but it's an old gate mark. Number eight, $45. And I'm telling you what, that's not bad at all. This looks like we have a lodge. Dutch oven bottom. No lid. In this, no, actually it's a Wagner wire. Wagner wire, Sydney O. No lid. Very thin. This is a nice uh, piece. One thing about one thing about pieces like this, the older thin pieces, you'll find them they'll spin a little bit. We call those spinners. This is no lid. Forty dollars. This is a lodge. Thirty-nine ninety-five. It's in really good shape. Now check this out. We have Fisher Price full-size rings. How many remembers these? Either when you was a kid or when you had kids. I'm telling you what, this thing here. Ooh, is a lot of fun. <laughs> wow, that is as cool as you get. Didn't know they even made those. $12.95. $1,295. Made in USA, Fisher Price cool as it can be. This is adult size right here. And if you can't get the big one on the bottom and the little one on top, you got a problem. Okay, we have a little bit of cast iron over here. You know, a lot of cast iron collectors don't like these because they're just so hard to clean sometimes, but I'm drawn to the Birmingham Stove and Range. And uh, it's cool. I've got a friend who said, they call these bottle cap openers. <laughs> it looks like a bottle cap opener. I don't know if that's what the purpose was, but you can tell that's the Birmingham Stove and Range by that. And by the way, this is a Century Series. 
by the small letters. The red mountain will have big, big letters on it. And we have a little number three, three notch lodge with a blob. You hear I'm talking about the blob? This is the blob right here. Three notch, number three. Looks like a hand scrawled, number three. It is 1995. By the way, this little Century Series corn stick pan is $20. And then we have a larger number eight right here. This is a Wagner wire with a heat ring on the outside. Let's see, Wagner wire, Sydney O with a heat ring on the outside. A nice little number eight right here, $35. And it looks really flat. Not bad right there. When I was a kid, we had a world book set of encyclopedias. And uh, every time I see a set of these, I remember ours was missing the eye. We got them at a yard sale or something, because we didn't have much. But every time I see these, I want to know if the eye is there. <laughs> Here it is. The one I missed when I was a kid. It makes me want to read it. <laughs> Tell you what, we spent a lot of hours looking at them world books. Here's a little stack. Looks like they're going to probably all be lodges. Number three, Three Notch Lodge, SK. $10. Oh, this is a Birmingham Stone Range. I can feel the ridge. $10. This is a $10 made in USA Century Series Birmingham Stove and Range. Another Birmingham Stove and Range Century Series. This is not $10. I'm kind of surprised. These are basically the same piece. One's 10, one's 25. Here's the biggest stash that we have here. We have a little, little trivet right here, 14.95. That's real neat. Five-legged trivet. Looks like to be a lodge corn stick pan. It doesn't look like it's ever been used. 24.95. You know, Lodge changed their design quite a bit. You'll have them with little bumps in the flat place. You'll have them without the flat place. You'll have them with a little wider spot here. You'll have them with a little, little uh, long flat spot here. But you can pretty much tell it's Lodge. Here's a little unmarked. No, it's not, it's not unmarked. It's a marked Wagner. It's a marked Wagner Sydney O. Number three, it's really in good shape. It just needs to be cleaned up a little bit. $29.95. Here's a little fajita skillet. This is a Wagner Ware sizzle server. Wagner Ware Sydney O, 42. Got a little bit of a casting flaw right here. You'll see that sometimes. But uh, 1095, number 1095. Wagner, where Oval, Oval Wagner sizzle server. It's hard to say that in one time without getting your tongue tangled up. Okay, we'll start over here. This is part of a combo cooker set. I've said many times the combo cooker collectors are crazy <laughs> because it's so hard. Uh, I don't want to say they're crazy but it just takes a special person to collect combo cookers because they're so hard to put together. This is $49.95. This is one piece of a three-piece set and I'm not sure the maker Says number one on the bottom. 
It's got like a little ridge on the top and the bottom of this handle. I'll try to figure out who the maker is. This is a kind of newer piece. This is a this is iron griddle, the crochet. There's like a subliminal message in here, it's a cow. You don't really see it in the beginning, but it's there. Le Crochet. And it's made where you can uh, pour off pour off the grease. It's a nice little, I would say it would be a bacon uh, griddle or a hamburger griddle. It's not a vintage, but it's cool. Twelve dollars. I kind of like that. That might just go home with me. I know this is aluminum. But I'm telling you what, this is as interesting as I'll get out. It's got its built-in thermometer. <laughs> I'd be curious to know if it works. But I'm not an aluminum person, but 35 bucks. <laughs> That's about as interesting as you can get. Most likely Asian. You just kind of tell by this little look right here. And just the casting, I mean, you see them from a distance. If you've seen enough cast iron, you say Asian from a mile away. But it's a Martha Stewart every day. Probably an Asian piece made by an Asian company for an American company, $12. Here's something. If you have got the Wagner bottom for this, this is a piece for you, $65.00 drip top baster somebody out there is looking for this piece I'm just telling you if you've got the bottom that goes with this you pick this piece up here and you'll have something I'll tell you what <clears throat> this one right here this is an old piece this is an Erie 22 $75 Not a bad looking piece. 954, the number on the back. Erie 22, bread pan, $75. I can tell this one's got a little wobble to it. <laughs> got a lot of spinner. Anytime you see a shiny spot on the bottom of a skillet like this, you know the chances of it being a spinner is pretty high. And they got it priced accordingly. $10. Even though it's an unmarked Wagner because it's a bad spinner, they got the price down. Number 10 still is $10. It's not a bad price. Here we got a, a number six Wagner Wire Sydney O. The number is uh, 10561. $35 for this little number six and it looks really good I mean it's got some seasoning some marks on the seasoning but I don't think it goes past it and uh, looks like it may be flat here's a Wagner pot $36.95 Wagner Sydney O. It's a little shiny. We're shiny just a little bit. We can tell it's been rubbed here more than it has on the rest of it. So you know that one's going to spin. Oh man, here's a pretty piece right here. $39. And I'm looking to see if there's a crack or something. I don't hear anything. $39 for this little piece right here. That is not bad. I'll look and see who the maker is. You'll see casting flaws in pieces. I don't know, it might be a crack. It's hard to tell. This is one of those pieces you really won't know 
until you get it stripped to where you see the bare metal. Here's another big number 10. This is a Wagner, $275. It's a marked piece, Wagner Wire Sydney O. It's almost flat, which is uh, pretty good. 106OA is the number on this piece. $75, number 10. Well worth that. It looks like this one's got quite a bit of spin to it. This is a Red Mountain Dutch oven. This is a 3995. In the Birmingham Stove and Range, Dutch ovens almost always spin. I don't know what the deal is. You'll run across a flat one very, very uh, rarely. And with the Birmingham Stove and Range, their Dutch ovens are going to have the pour spout. And the Dutch oven lids will have the, uh, the ear covers, which will also work on a skillet. If you have a number eight Red Mountain or Century Series skillet, it will fit. And one thing to tell the Dutch ovens lids, if it's a Century Series, the lines will all be straight out and you'll have the description size in the middle. But with the Red Mountain series, we have random divots, little golf ball type divots. They'll just be random. There's not a pattern. I mean, some are closer together and some are further apart. I don't really understand. Uh, you know, for an OCD guy, it's to kind of bother you. But I get excited when I see Red Mountain uh, pieces. This is uh, 3995. It does spin. This one right here is a little on the heavy side. Looks like someone has drilled some holes in it, or it may come with this. I'm gonna check and see if these are factory drilled holes or not. Very possibly it is. Number eight looks like a scrawled Number eight, FBP. Not really sure of the maker. <clears throat> it is heavy. I'd almost want to say it was a Wagner. Unmarked Wagner, but I'm not sure. Take a look at the handle. I'll try to find out. The inside looks really good. And it looks like it says flat. I don't think it's in a good warp because it is heavy as it can be. $49.95. Ooh. Triple X WKM. Don't really know the maker of this one. $29, number eight. Most likely an Asian piece. Here's another. Five quart Dutch oven, $49.95. Got the drip basters. It just says five quart Dutch oven. Not sure the maker. I'll try to find out a little more information on that. I would want to say it's Asian. Still a great user. Here we got Looks like a Dutch, uh, Dutch oven bottom, a number seven. Birmingham Stove and Range Century Series. This is a number seven, $39.95. The reason why I say it's Century, because we have the descriptive numbers. That's, in, that's indicative of Birmingham Stove and Range. And we got us another, another kettle. This is old gate mark piece. Has a three little Stubby legs look like they've been ground off. There might have been some longer legs on it at one time. Somebody has ground it off. Number eight, iron kettle, $49.95. We have us another Birmingham Stove and Range Century Series, never been used. 
mentioned a while ago about the century series and how the knot the how the uh, dimples are just in a straight line that's indicative of century series and also we have the description in the middle we have number eight then we have the size in inches this one has never been used it's a century series Birmingham stove and range and it doesn't spin because it's never been in the heat we have the uh, the poor spout that Birmingham Stove and Range had. And this one right here, $49.95. I'd just about take that one home. These little pieces right here, $29.95. Cast iron pot. All right, they cool. Okay, we have another Birmingham Stove and Range. Made in USA Century Series bottom, never been used. $35. And it doesn't spin. Oh, here's a big one. This is a uh, $95. $95. And it is a three notch lodge, number 12, SK, made in USA. Looks like it's never been used either. Here we have a nice, call it a dinner pot. <laughs> Three-legged pot with a heat ring. Cause this part here is set down inside the stove eye. And it's sealed off by the heat ring. Don't really know the maker. It's no gate mark piece. You really won't know the, the maker. Chances are it was made somewhere around 1890, give or take a decade. Now this is a heavy little guy. Let's see if I can get this little piece out here. King Stove and Range, Sheffield, Alabama. That is nice. Sheffield Stove and Range. That is cool as a cucumber. This is the this is front. So now is that neat? Right. If you never heard of King Stove and Range, that was kind of the forerunner of Martin Stove and Range. There was a couple more pieces that she had here and really, really interesting. And right here is a Griswold Turk's Head pan. Looks like they have 550 on it. Here, PA, USA. It's a pretty little piece right here. You don't see these very often. They keep this behind the counter. So if you're interested, you'll have to ask for it. 11 cup Turk's head pan, Erie PA, awesome piece. You'll see these occasionally, but not very often. This is a Birmingham stove and range piece. Uh, even the ridge is on this one. This one right here, we have 250 on it and it doesn't have a heat ring it's a number two not two dollars and fifty cents but two hundred fifty dollars this is an old piece right here has advertisement you don't see Birmingham stove and range on very much and if you love Birmingham stove and range this is a cool piece right here number two now the has a little teardrop hanger handle hole but the hole is round here it's a little different. I think it's either an advertisement piece or a salesman sample of some kind, but this is very, very cool. Okay, we really enjoyed ourselves here at Water Valley Flea Market in Coleman, Alabama. Uh, 
really seen some cool pieces, especially the, the uh, King Stoven Range piece, awesome. I hope that you've enjoyed this video, and if you have and would like to see more, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and I promise to keep more of them coming. Thanks again for watching the Cast Iron Cookware channel.